Okay, I am Larry Chang, and I'm super excited to have Dan Ha, who's the managing director of SSE Labs. And SSE Labs, well, what is SSE Labs? So SSE Labs is a student-run startup accelerator at Stanford, and we aim to help the top Stanford entrepreneurs start their companies by providing them resources like uh, office space, mentorship, a uh, living expenses, mm -hmm. uh, and a community of like-minded entrepreneurs to work within. Okay. Now, I read about that in that TechCrunch article that was published <laughs> earlier. Um, nice. Tell me something that's behind the scenes that, that if I were a person who was applying to an incubator, whether it's mm -hmm. Stanford or something else, not an incubator, sorry, a business accelerator, yeah. what do I need to, to look out for as an entrepreneur? So as an entrepreneur, um, well, particularly within Stanford, if you're going through any sort of Stanford programs or using any of the resources, uh, you should be clear whether or not there's, uh, whether the Office of Technology and Licensing has any bearing on your work. Uh, because there have been cases where students, you know, develop their own IP and then try to spin off a company only to realize, like, Stanford has uh, some ownership of that. So I have to pay tuition and give them a piece of my company? Yeah, it, it depends on if whether or not uh, the work you developed, or the IP you developed, was mm -hmm. non-incidental use. Okay. Uh, but it's just always good to, to keep an eye out for that. Give one or two quick tips on how to, how to hack uh, the application process, because I'm sure you get to approve entrepreneurs and make or break careers. So what's one or two ways that I can? So if you talk to anyone within the Valley, they always tell you passion and determination are, is, are two of the top criteria that they watch out for okay. within the entrepreneur. Um, okay. Because entrepreneurship is hard, it's lonely, uh, and you're likely to fail. So how do I show that, though, in an emailed application, or how do I do that? Well, it's all within how you phrase or try to communicate your message. Um, if they ask you questions like whether, what other time commitments you have, or um, even if it's a case where it's, it's like demonstrate a time when you built something, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you can convey that you have passion de and determination simply by how you approach um, solving a problem, whether or not you get easily deterred, um, or if you if you have backup plans and you say if this doesn't work out, I'll just I'll just like go to my backup plan. Mm -hmm. um, just little things like that. Interesting. So uh, if we're an entrepreneur, uh, how do we reach out to you? Uh, you can well you can just check out the website and send us an email. Okay. Um, we definitely love getting in touch with entrepreneurs and helping them out wherever okay. we can. And the email is uh, it's a n d i e n at ssc.stanford.edu, uh, but the website is just ssclabs.stanford.edu. Awesome. Great having you on. And I also want to very much uh, thank TechCrunch for uh, allowing use of their studio in space. It's awesome space, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> but thank you for coming in. You're thank welcome. you, thank you.